Hello everyone, welcome back to Bytes of CAC. So in this lecture, we learn that why single layer perceptron cannot realize XOR gate. Now many of you already know, but um, probably only some of you know why it cannot realize. It does not realize, everybody knows that, right? Now if I have to um, explain that in just one sentence, it will. I'll say that it, this is or a single layer perceptron is capable of representing only linearly separable data. Now, what does that mean? Let us let me explain that to you. So, this is a single layer perceptron where there are two inputs x and y. So, there is this is the input layer, two inputs x and y with two trainable weights w1 and w2. It has one bias uh, neuron because it has just one hidden layer since it's a single layer perceptron. And then you have one output layer, which is uh, the output which is represented as T. And this output is um, calculated as T equals to, that is input into, that is X input plus, uh, sorry, into W1 plus Y into W2 plus B, well, it will be B1 according to the diagram. So, uh, and let us assume that there can be only two types of outputs. It can either be a rectangle or a circle. Now, arbitrarily, we plot this value of t onto this x and y space in this graph. So, the horizontal axis represents uh, x and the vertical axis represents y. And this is purely imaginary. So, uh, so if we say at this point, say let us assume this point, uh, say x value is 1 and the y value of course is 0. So, at the point 1, 0, what we get as an output is a circle. Coming to this point, say uh, this is uh, the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 1. So, at the point 2, 1, what we get as an output is a triangle. Now, what we do in machine learning is prediction. So, you will be given uh, some unknown value of x and some unknown value of y and now you have to predict that if that will be a circle or a triangle. So, if you are using a single layered perceptron, what the single layered perceptron does is it draws a straight line. So, it really predicts that any value of x and y that falls at this part of the uh, axis will be a triangle and any value of x and y that falls at this part of the axis will be a circle. So this is how a single layered perceptron um, tries to do its prediction. Now, uh, so this is just a uh, straight line which is drawn to separate triangle from the circle. Now, this is the truth table of XOR. So, when the value of uh, either X or either Y is 0, the truth value or the output value of the XOR gate will be 1. Otherwise, if both are 0 or both are 1, the truth value of XOR gate will be 0. Now, if we represent exactly this function here with x uh, representing uh, or the horizontal axis being represented by x and the vertical axis being represented as y, uh, at the point 0, 0, the truth value is 0 and let us consider the truth value, I, I mean let us uh, represent that 0 value as a red circle. So, at this point it will be a red circle, at the point 0, 1 that is here 0 1 this green circle represents that this is going to be a positive outcome and at this point 1 0 again the value is 1 so that is again represented by a green circle and this point 1 1 is represented by a red circle. Now since we are using a single layered perceptron so therefore we need to draw a single line. Remember we can draw only one single line so that we can say that okay say if we draw something like say this so we can say that uh, 
any point that falls at this part is going to be uh, a positive uh, uh, a truth value of is, uh, 1 and any uh, all other points that uh, fall at these zone will have a truth value of 0 so let us try to do that now if we try to draw a line like this what will happen you can all, all can actually see this is the point which is left out see it will automatically mean that this point is supposed to be uh, supposed to have the truth value of 1 according to the notion but in reality this has the truth value of 0 right so this way you cannot uh, divide or you cannot uh, use a single line to uh, separate the greens from the red and if you try this way again this point will be uh, will supposed to have a truth value of 1 where uh, in reality this has a truth value of 0 so by any means by any way using one single straight line you cannot separate these two from these two so this is why single layered perceptron can never ever recognize XOR gate so that is all for today so stay tuned for much more interesting stuff and if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to my channel so that's all thank you